Uh, one last video here for the term. Uh, we're looking at uh, regression analysis using the graphics calculator. Uh, really important that you understand how this works. So we'll just run through a quick example here. Um, a toy rocket's trajectory was recorded in the table below. And you can see the, uh, the rocket's trajectory here. Time in seconds and the height. So it launches and after 1.14 seconds, its height is 1.75. And so on and so forth. So we've, we're given a table. Uh, now if you're given any kind of table like this, and then you're asked, assuming the rocket follows a logarithmic function, find a function that describes the data. Now this is a, a regression analysis question, so we can put all of this into our calculator and we can find a function, in this case a logarithmic function, that describes the data. So I'll just run you through some of the steps here. First of all, you'll need to go into stat mode. And you'll just need to type in all these numbers into stat mode. Down list 1 and down list 2. Now, once you've done that, uh, you can go to the oh, you can go to the graph, and you just need to set it up. Make sure that it's a scatter plot. Make sure that your x list is list one and your y list is list two. That means that list one is the one down the, the far left. That's going to be on our x axis, and list two is going to be on our y axis. Okay, so that all makes sense. That's good. Uh, and we'll graph it. And we end up with a graph that looks like this. So there's uh, step one. Now, it's not super necessary to do it, but it at least lets you know what's going on. Next up is to do a calc. So there's a whole bunch of options here. Um, you're going to do, because it's a logarithmic function, you're going to fit it to a logarithmic curve. So just running through some of those options. Oops. Just running through some of those options. Um, you've got quadratics or cubics or a, um, a linear equation here. And then you've got logarithmics, exponentials. Um, we'll ignore this one because we're not going to use this one. Or sine curves. Now you could get asked any kind of question here where you're asked to find a log curve, an exponential curve, or a sine curve, depending on what the data looks like. In this particular case, you've been asked to fit it to a logarithmic curve, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so you can see that it gives us a logarithmic curve, uh, it gives us an R squared value and all the rest of it, but more importantly, it gives us a logarithmic curve of y equals a plus b times ln x, and our a value is 1.29029524, and our b value is 4.9303. Uh, so our answer to question a, oops, is y equals uh, 1.29029, etc., plus 4.9303 ln x. So there's our answer to part A. Now, what I'm going to do next, some of you will have done this before, so you'll have done it in different ways. I'm going to press the copy here and copy it into here. You need to copy, press execute, and then copy again. And you can see that now it's in my graphing function. Now, oops, I'll just exit this, go into the menu. Now when I go into the graphing option, you can see that it's there waiting for me. And if I press draw, it's going to tell me there's a condition error. Now the reason there's a condition error is that there's some brackets missing. I don't know why it does this. Um, we really need those brackets in ln x. Okay, we draw it. And this is the function that we end up with. Uh, you can draw it a different way, but this is the way I choose to do it. Now, the part b and part c is just all about y calcs and x calcs. So we'll just go into the view window because we need to do a height of the rocket after 10 seconds and we also need to know after how long will a rocket reach 15 meters. So view window. Now my X max needs to go to at least 10. I might just go up to 20. 
and my y minimum is a negative one that's fine but my y max now the rocket needs to reach at least 15 meters so i'll just put the y max as say 30 just well above that i'll draw that and here's our thing okay so this should be more than enough information to do this after this it's just a simple matter for b to do a g solve and we want to know what will the height of the rocket be after 10 seconds so we know an x value which is 10 seconds we want to know the y value so we're going to do a y calc here and enter an x value of 10. okay so the answer to part b after 10 seconds it'll be 12.64 meters high so that's the answer to part b and then oops i'll do my g solve again According to your function, after how long will the rocket reach 15 meters? Uh, this is an X calc because we know the Y is 15. We want to know after how long. So 15 in there. And so you can see after 16.13 seconds, the rocket will be uh, 15 meters high. Okay, so uh, that's a basic uh, linear, um, sorry, in this case, it's a logarithmic regression. You might also get exp exponential regressions to do. You might also get uh, sine uh, regressions to do. But the list of steps is always the same no matter which one you're doing.